Right, next stage of our journey here is learning how to do the inverse normal. This is when you're working backwards, so you're given a probability and you're working out what value would give you that probability. Whereas before we were given a value and we're working out the chances of it happening. We're going the other way around. So, well, let's have a look at an example. We've got um, the weights of backpacks are normally distributed with mean 3 kilos and standard deviation 0.5 kilos. Above what weight would 15% of the backpacks lie? So we've got a mean of 3, standard deviation 0.5, so there's our mu and sigma values. It's normally distributed, so it looks like this. And we have some value w, where the weights above that would fall into this category of there'll be 15% of them. So 15% of the backpacks will lie in that area there that's above w. Now, first of all, we can do this using the normal distribution table. I'll show you how to use the graphics calculator in a second. So I'll run through that quickly. Using the table gives you this area here between the mean and your value. So that would have to be 0.35 to make up the uh, difference between 15% and half. Uh, so we find 0.35 on the table within the values that are in the middle. The value of z that gives us the probability being 0.35 is 1.036. z equals x minus mu over sigma, so we substitute that in, where the x value we're looking for is that w. Subtract the mean, which is 3, divide it by the standard deviation 0.5, and that has to be equal to our z value 1.036. Rearrange that and you get w equals 1.036 times by 0.5, add on 3, gives you your answer that's what W must be. Now most of you will not do any of that, you'll go to using the graphics calculator. So on your graphics calculator, when you run through your menus to get to the normal distribution, instead of pressing NCD, you're going to press the button right next to it that says INVN, or inverse normal. And what you're going to enter for this particular one is first of all you have to decide where the tail is, and that just means which side of your line are you looking for. So on this one, it's the right side of the line. So use the buttons at the bottom of your screen to select right. The area that we've got covered is 15%, which is 0.15. You have to enter it as a decimal. Mu and sigma, we've got um, from our question. So sigma is 0.5 and mu is 3. Enter those in. Press enter and you get your answer off of your calculator where that x value the W we were looking for, is 3.518 kilos. All right, we're going to change this question for example number two, just ever so slightly. Uh, same situation, but we're looking for the weights where uh, we've got a 50% of the backpacks lie between those weights. Okay, so it looks like this. We've got two weights, either side of the mean, 50% of those backpacks sit in between that weight. So, on our graphics calculator, now the tail we're looking for, we're not on the right or the left, we are in between two values, so you call that centre. So on, on your buttons on, at the bottom of the um, options, you've got F1, F2, F3, you choose the one for central. The area we're looking for is 50%, so that's 0.5. Then put in your values of sigma and mu again, and it will give you that the first value is 2.633. And the second value is 3.337. So that means 50% of these backpacks lie between 2.66 kilos and 3.34 kilos. You could also be given a question that um, is talking about less than a certain value. You do exactly the same thing, but your tail would be on the left hand side. So you just switch it around. You just pick the tail that you need for whereabouts on the graph your shaded section is that you're looking for.